today we are starting with another new topic on scope management and we will be learning many important things so the agenda to be covered in the scope management uh, in this particular section are scope statement scope baseline wbs or work breakdown structure wbs dictionary control account and different other terms associated with the wbs such as work packages activities and task we will also cover different exam scenarios and practice with the simulated practice quizzes First of all, let's start with an important concept called scope baseline, which is also very important for project management related examinations. So what is the scope baseline? Scope baseline is a sum of project scope statement plus work breakdown structure plus work breakdown structure dictionary or WBS dictionary. We will study about these terms, the scope, WBS and WBS dictionary later. But for now, just understand that if the scope is uh, changed or say introduced in the scope baseline it has to go through and be approved by the integrated change control process so we have a question here what happens when there is a change in a scope baseline or addition of any new scope in the project the options are we go through the integrated change control second option we do nothing and third option is um, this is out of the scope of the project so we withdraw the project and fourth we ask the project manager so whenever there is a change in scope baseline as we just learned we have to go through the integrated change control process so what is the importance of defining a scope or scope baseline then project managers can prevent the project from scope creep which is the term in which a scope can increase and decrease than what was originally planned so uh, when we define the scope or when we uh, define the scope baseline we can prevent from the scope creep next question for you which of the following is not a part of scope baseline the options are project scope statement scope management plan scope control plan work breakdown structure and wbs dictionary i will give you some time to think for the answer yes the answer is uh, pretty simple the answers are scope management plan and scope control plan so these are not the part of scope baseline so we learned about different components of the scope baseline the scope statement being one of the major components what does the project scope statement contain it contains information on what the project is looking to achieve or, or the deliverable of the project acceptance criteria we can also learn about what is and is not the part of the project scope and also assumptions and constraints of the project before moving into the next part of the topic let me kindly remind you that you can download the important topics in wbs and scope management and also i have provided you an excel template to work as an example in making our work breakdown structure you can download these materials through the link in the description next topic let's talk about the work breakdown structure so what is the work breakdown structure or wbs in short the wbs is a hierarchical chart which breaks down the scope of the project into work packages so that it is more manageable easy to locate the activities and know the deliverables of the project it helps to decompose the project activities into smaller and more manageable components note that it is one of the very important tools in the predictive approach of the project management that means in predictive approach planning of all the deliverables of the project is done beforehand and the wbs or the work breakdown structure helps to achieve this goal so here what you basically see is the project is decomposed into smaller manageable deliverables or work packages or activities and tasks and this is the basic example of the work breakdown structure project is uh, ultimately divided into deliverables and then into packages then into activities and tasks as shown in this diagram also notice how the work deliverables or the work packages are assigned different numbers and we can trace these numbers to get more information about the work packages each work package in wbs is assigned only one control account uh, which is stated in yellow color here we can get important information about the 
important milestones, cost and schedule allocated with the help of control account. So whenever we want to learn about any uh, work packages, we have to uh, look for its subsequent control account. The control account may be one or more work package that can be used to estimate the cost, schedule and scope of the project. Here is a question for you. Which of the following about the control account is not true? The options are it is located at the higher packages level in the work breakdown structure. Well, this is true because as you see in the figure also, it is uh, located at the top. One control account can be assigned for one work package in order to determine the cost and schedule of the work package. This is also true. And the next option is control account comes after activities and tasks or say it is the lowest breakable or decomposable account. This one is not correct. Actually, the task part or the activities part comes while breaking the work packages. So depending upon the type or duration and complexity of the projects, we may have uh, different kinds of work packages. For small projects, uh, WBS work packages generally have a duration of 4 to 40 hours. For medium projects, we have WBS work packages with a duration of 8 to 80 hours. And for the large project, WBS work package duration is around 300 hours. We have another term here quite similar to scope baseline. We have performance measurement baseline, which is the uh, sum of scope baseline plus schedule baseline plus cost baseline. So this term can be confused with the scope baseline. Just take a note. Now let's discuss some of the important points on the work breakdown structure that could be very beneficial for the exam. Uh, WBS dictionary helps the project manager prevent the scope creep or things moving out that is more than what the project requires. So basically our WBS and the WBS dictionary is made by the project manager along with the help of the team. The WBS is hierarchy of deliverables of the project. We just learned that. The WBS work packages doesn't show dependency on each other. At the top of WBS is the project name. We always start with the project and then we decompose into deliverables and the work packages, activities and tasks. We saw that in the picture. The WBS is created by the project manager taking help from the team. Yes, we discussed it just now. Work packages are unique and should not be repeated in the work breakdown structure. So this one is very important. You should not have similar work packages or the same work packages uh, in a unique project. Another important concept is a deliverable that are more important than activities in the any work breakdown structure. So basically the main function of the work background structure is to give us the idea of the different deliverables that the project aims to meet. The decomposition of the WBS can be done in the top down approach or a bottom up approach. Top down approach means uh, we write the project name at the top which is decomposing the work packages at the bottom. So the picture we saw uh, on the work package is the top down approach and bottom up means moving up from the work packages level. We have another term WBS dictionary. Often you see numbers in the work packages. We cannot know in detail about the work packages if we only look at the WBS. So in order to know more about the WBS work packages, we form or we generally make a document that relates to the number assigned to these work packages and this contain different information about the work packages. So what does the WBS dictionary contain? It contains the description of the interdependencies between different work packages, schedule milestone that is to be reached. It also gives us the information about what is being delivered, what is to be done to produce that deliverable or how to know the deliverable is acceptable, what are the resources assigned to produce the particular deliverable, what is the expected cost to produce that deliverable, what is the due date or schedule in order to produce that deliverable. So these are all the things that the WBS dictionary may contain. So here is a question for you. As a project manager, you need to let your teams know what needs to be accomplished along the detailed description of the deliverables to be executed during certain phase of the project. Which of the following tools can you use for this purpose? So what you are basically trying to do is uh, you are trying to get the detailed description of the deliverables. So which tool could be important for you? WBS, WBS dictionary, performance baseline, scope baseline or the activity list. I will give you some time to think for the answer. Well, the correct answer to this is WBS dictionary as we discussed before.
It contains the detailed description of the work packages, including things such as schedule milestones uh, or what is being delivered, how to know the deliverable is accepted, about the resources and expected cost, etc. Here, the first option WBS or work breakdown structure is incorrect as uh, though it shows the deliverable as work packages. Description of these work packages are not in detail in the work breakdown structure. If you are given the option scope baseline or performance baseline, this could also be correct because performance baseline contains the scope baseline and the scope baseline in terms includes the scope statement WBS and the WBS dictionary. As we are interested in the WBS dictionary and as both of these baseline contains the WBS dictionary, these both could be the correct answer. Activity list is incorrect answer here because activity list just means the list of activities and it may not contain the detail information to get the deliverables of the project. So we learned about a scope statement, scope baseline, WBS, WBS dictionary and different terms associated with the WBS such as control account, work packages, activities and tasks. When we break down the uh, work packages, we get activities and further down when we break down the activities, we get the tasks. We also practice different simulated quizzes. Before ending, again, I want to kindly remind you that you can download the important topics in WBS and scope management and also I provided you an Excel template to work uh, as an example in making the work breakdown structure. You can get all these materials through the link in the description. Thank you so much for being with me so far in this lecture as well.